Give Africa magazine, the journey so far, um, it's been 11 years, this will be the 12th year in business, um, of trying to tell the Niger Delta story from our perspective, changing the narrative concerning the Niger Delta. It started as a passion, just um, something that I was spurred to do by my friend Adao Utwedo, recognizing the journalistic um, traits and passion that I had at the time. And um, 12 years down the road, it's been rough, it's been tough, but it's been worth every inch of effort we have put into this venture. Today, we are a news hub, meaning that we have different and several platforms where we tell the Niger Delta news. We have our online television. We have our news magazine, which is you know, a news paper form that comes out monthly. Um, and so with these two, on these two platforms, we share the Niger Delta story. Prior to this time, when you go to the national dailies, often at time, we, you only found political news. But we thought that there was so much in the Niger Delta that needed to be told, and we embarked on that journey. It's been a fruitful one. It's been, um, it's been very fruitful. It's been rejuvenating for me, having or being a part of the process that is rejigging the Niger Delta narrative via our feature stories on individuals, with the mandates to use their stories as a mentoring tool. This is our journey. This is our story. <laughs> you don't want to be inundated with the everyday struggle of being a newspreneur in the south of Nigeria. But we are glad that we are still in the business. We are glad that a whole lot have come to join us. You know, there are other news platforms who have, I'm sure, been greatly inspired by our consistency and have come to join. Um, along the dream, when we wanted to launch the magazine, we thought that we should use a give back angle. And so we created what we today call the Red Ball in support of causes. That also has been a very interesting and fruitful journey for us. Um, <laughs> we've covered several causes. Uh, we've covered the one that endears me, that is you know, most endearing to my heart is the raising the next generation, where we gave out, I think, about, or if not more than 100 copies of the book, 15 Laws of Money by Ifani Eze. It was quite a fulfilling one. Also, last year we touched on, uh, when we were celebrating the 10th anniversary of the news house, we started our internship program where we, you know, encourage our friends and our partners on the need to raise a Niger Delta child, the way we were raised in our days. That venture for us as an NGO and as a company has been most fruitful. Within that time, we have had four interns, you know, four graduates, four interns, two graduate interns and two other interns pass by our doors. It's been very, very rewarding, especially our intern who came as a young girl who didn't have any idea for what her next step would be. But today, she is a student. I mean, I think she would have, by the time you're watching this video, she would have uh, matriculated at the River State Ignatius Adjoro University. Please pardon me. Um, that, that her own story is most endearing to our hearts. And um, we are committed, of course, it's part of um, our remit as an NGO. We are committed to that mandate. We will continue to do that in addition to the other focuses that the Red Bull will focus on. Like I said, it's been also a very rewarding journey. We've had stories, you know, of people telling us, calling back to say that because you brought awareness to so-and-so, 
XYZ happened to my parent or to my sibling and we're able to take informed steps and that has greatly blessed our hearts. This, um, as, you, as you watch this broadcast, permit me to use this opportunity to thank our partners. As many who have given Eva Freak an adverse slot, as many who have asked Eva Freak to come cover their events, you kept us in business. We're trying to do a roll call, but the list was so long, but I'm sure it will still be showcased on this broadcast. We thank all of you. Uh, we also want to use this opportunity to thank our partners for the Red Bull. It's been 11 years of partnership, 11 years of trust, where you have trusted that um, the resources you put in our hands have been put to good use. And we continue to come again and again. We are so grateful to you. Together, we make the region what it is. I also want to thank as many who has received our Heart of Gold Awards. Along the line, along our journey, we thought that it was pertinent to reward individuals who go out of their way to make life comfortable for the other person via business mentorship, via all sorts of charitable platforms and we began to you know recognize these people and they have all they, they had all accepted over the years the red bull will be in his ninth season by this 2022 and we say thank you and we congratulate every award recipient and ask that you know because like they say well done means more work so keep up the good work thank you for all you do Thank you for supporting the Eva Freak dream, which is the dream to tell the Niger Delta story on a global platform, thereby changing the narrative prior to what we have today. We are grateful. I want to thank every person that has passed through the Eva Freak doors. <laughs> every person that has passed through our newsroom. You have all contributed to where we are today. I want to thank our production team, our design team, who've been with us for over 10 years. Um, we are just starting. Yeah. We have just begun, really. I also want to use this opportunity and thank the Red Bull Committee. The Red Bull Chairman, Lady Wap uh, Wale Wapara, she's been with this initiative for all 11 or 12 years. Thank you so much ma'am thank you to every member of the team together we have we continue to make our region rock we look forward to more amazing years do follow us on all our online platforms when you see our newspaper at the newsstand pardon us with a hundred and two hundred naira buy a copy continue to support our business the dream and the vision is about all of us my name is ivy davis etok akban I am the editor in chief of Eva Freak News. Thank you.